for a hundred bucks, really can't beat that. I don't know if you ever tried to cut a straight line with one of these, but it is damn near impossible, at least for me. So thankfully, Harbor Freight came out with a cheaper alternative to the swag off-road stand thing that this goes in. So let's try it out. I have been going to my local Harbor Freight for probably two months trying to catch this thing in stock because every time I go, they do not have them. So I take that as a sign that these are pretty freaking popular. All right. All right, we got some instructions here. Oh, fancy. It looks basically assembled at this point. Usually, from what I've found with Harbor Freight stuff, there's usually quite a bit of assembly that needs to happen, but it looks like this is not the case. Uh, looks like a plate of some sort. I'm assuming that these are the different things you need to attach different types of band saws because from what I've been told, this stand will accommodate like four or five different versions of bandsaws. Let's see what we got here for these instructions. Milwaukee corded and cordless, which is what I have. It will also support DeWalt corded and cordless as well. So it looks like the Hercules, the Bauer, Milwaukee, and DeWalt. DeWalt. All right, let's do this. Oh, I have to remove something from my bandsaw. All right, so I have to remove this top handle right here. Let me bust out my Harbor Freight T handles here. That first try. Looks like. All right. All right, and then I need to get bracket 34. Are these bags labeled? It doesn't look like the bags are labeled, but I'm just gonna go off the pictures here. That looks like the one I need. All right, so it looks like the one is facing the front with the little indent, and we're reusing the same bolt. All right, I just wanted to bring you up close for this one. So these holes where this goes, this is where the arm connects to here. Uh, it is a little bit rusty out of the box, but that's not too big of a deal because it's kind of, you know, for a hundred bucks, what do you expect? All right, lift to upright position, loosen these guys. I feel like these could definitely use a little bit of anti-seize. All right, and there's also three adjustment bolts here in the back. These three, these three adjustment bolts here will level it this way. So I was under the impression that this was kind of a quick release type of thing. It definitely appears that it is not a quick release type of thing. So if you would want to, for whatever reason, take the bandsaw out of this stand, it would require uh, a little bit of work. All right, and I'm guessing that these arms here are to position or to squeeze the actual handle. And then we're gonna tighten these guys up. All right, we're gonna use a 13 millimeter to hold the back of these nuts. So on these, we're using a six millimeter. I guess I should have just assumed that it was metric since, you know, it's Harbor Freight, so. <laughs> would you look at that? So this is already hitting the guide, so I know that I did not put that in straight. 
I definitely did not put that in straight. All right, so the brackets that I have on this back side are all the way to one side, so I'm gonna try and adjust it using these handle clamps back here. That looks to be about good. Now I'm going to connect the strut over here. There we go. Would you look at that? All right, we have the trigger switch and the trigger level. The trigger lever may need to be flipped to make proper contact with the trigger. Oh, because it goes under. Duh. All right, I'm gonna show you up close how this part works because it took me a little while to figure out. So, this piece right here goes through this slot here and also goes on the underside of this. And then this screws in here. So in the off position all the way forward, this should be loose. When you go to turn it on, you can see it has a little cutout here. So you're gonna push that forward and slide that back, which will depress the trigger the whole way. And the instructions say, depending on what you have, you may have to play around with where it's located over here. But when it is in the on position, the trigger should be fully depressed. And then when you hit it to off, that should pop forward and release the trigger. All right, so we are looking good. We're in the off position here. So this barely fits on my bench here. So if you have a very, very small bench, this may not work for you. Let's give this thing a try. All right, there is a specific clamp that goes with this. Um, I completely forgot to get it in my excitement, but I will uh, show a picture of it over here and I will also put a link to it in the description. Huh, would you look at that? And then we also have, looks like an adjustment here for different angles. If you wanna cut different angles, it looks like it goes from zero to 60. Absolutely love it. This is definitely cutting crooked, but I think it has more to do with this than the actual, than this part. But I'll do some more tests and, uh, and I'll figure it out. I definitely need to replace the blade on this, but. All right, let's, uh, let's see how we can do the, uh, the vertical orientation because that's what I really bought this for. Move it like this. Ugh. Does have two mounting holes here if you wanna keep this in this configuration for all of the time. All right, and then for this, there is a button to slide out the guide, it looks like. All right, it says you have to remove this, and this one on my Milwaukee is going to be a T25. And we're gonna replace the one we took out with this one. It says in the directions 43. And then there's also a table bracket that clamps the existing guide to this, this, this piece. All right, and these, these table bracket bolts are going to be four millimeters. Uh, the powder coating isn't so great, so these bolts definitely don't wanna start, which is annoying. Ugh, I really don't wanna chase these right now. As with uh, some things, Harbor Freight, you'll find the powder coating is a little bit lacking. Uh, these bolts do go in here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but around here the powder coating is a little bit lackluster, so it's uh, giving me a hard time getting these bolts started. Ah, this is frustrating. All right, that's a little bit annoying, but got it done. Just had to, uh, to chase it real quick. Would you look at that? They go right in now. Even without it being bolted down, it's, I would say, fairly stable, enough to do like little shit. So let's test it. So I definitely need to tighten up the uh, the rollers on the bandsaw because it doesn't want to uh, shift as much as I'd like. But overall, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy for a hundred bucks, man. You really can't go wrong with this. The one thing that I will say about this is I thought for whatever reason that this was kind of like a hot swappable type of thing. All things considered, this is definitely going to be a buy for me, for Harbor Freight. Thumbs up for a hundred bucks. 
really can't beat that, you know, honestly. I appreciate you guys watching. For those of you that have been watching for a while, we are starting back up the subscriber-only podcast. You can find that at Patreon. Link's going to be right here. If you guys are into that, if you were subscribers before and want to catch up, we have about four or five new episodes in addition to all the other old ones. So if you want to check that out, please do. I appreciate it. It helps me do stuff like buy shit from Harbor Freight. So I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week.